Hey guys! So I'm live in the Facebook group because I had some technical problems with my YouTube video tonight. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Heather Boyd Wire. I run this Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, which I have so much fun meeting you guys and seeing all your amazing creations. Uh, every day you guys post uh, new things that are so so intricate and interesting and I just love it. And uh, this week actually my live on YouTube was a dedication to Genevieve Richet, who is a friend of mine and I've been working with her in the last little while. She's a entrepreneur in Montreal, member of this group and she does uh, life coaching. Peggy's here, hey Peggy, how are you? And uh, so, so if you guys were in the YouTube group and um, saw the first part of my video, I super appreciate that. And I'll show, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we made. So this is what we just made in the YouTube video. For some reason, technology wasn't agreeing with us. Uh, unfortunately, on Facebook, we can only do these vertical videos which is too bad because it's gonna be a little tricky to show you guys the next steps, but it's all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just pull up the video here so I can see it in the group. Hopefully it's gonna come up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'll flip my screen and I will be able to show you guys what I'm doing. So, okay, so now I can see, there's probably a bit of a delay. So, uh, so I'm sorry if there's a bit of a delay. But what I'll do is I'll flip it so I can see comments. So Clarice is here and Peggy. That's awesome. And if I can't keep track of your comments, please just uh, chat amongst yourself. And as always, I'm going to flip the screen. This is brand new doing it on Facebook. This is fun, guys. Every week it's something different. So if Jen hops on, let me know. Harry, hey, Kathy, how are you? This is the first time I've ever done a live stream in the Facebook group. So this one's really clear. Also, it's probably better. The only unfortunate thing is it's vertical, but it's all good. And there's Dana is is there or Dana. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Flip the screen. There's my messy table and we're going to get this up in a space on my table so I can actually see what I'm doing and hopefully you guys can see clearly what I'm doing. So let me just move this around. Let me put the sheet here. This is what's inspired this week's video is this beautiful drawing from Jen. Now Jen is a uh, kind of a happiness motivational coach for women. I've been working with her in the last little while. We've known each other for years on social media, but I just met her a couple of weeks ago and she made this beautiful design that I am trying to replicate in wire. So let me bring this over here so we can kind of see my workspace. I'm going to tape my camera down so that it doesn't move everywhere. Hopefully that's going to be good. Okay, and let me just put another little bit of tape. So there we go. So like I said, you guys can introduce yourself in the chat. I'm going to try to keep track of all the chat stuff there. And I am going to make another heart with the wire. So that is the goal for today, is to work out a design for the heart with the wires. So can we see my hands? There's my hands, awesome. And so this is the first one that I made. And it's actually made out of Fimo. So this whole base I made out of Fimo before the live stream. And I did like a little groove around the outside and then added the wings. So what I'll do is I'll keep that video up on YouTube, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to download it and edit it so we at least just have this project done. So now the next thing I want to do is I want to actually make this design but just out of the wire. So let me clear some of this stuff up a bit. It's a bit of a mess guys. So that's my dining room table for you. So let's go ahead and get some 20 gauge wire. Okay. And Kathy says, oh, cute. Yeah, it's fun, eh? So it's it's not too bad. Like uh, with the Fimo, the colors weren't, you know, the best. But uh, the Fimo itself is really fun to work with. And if you put varnish on it, it looks really good. So, so I'm glad this video is clear. Unfortunately, it has to be vertical because of the nature of doing live streams on 
Facebook, but uh, maybe this is the way to go from now on. I'll just have to figure out how I could adjust the video to put on. Uh, I'll download it to YouTube after. So here we're going to start with our wire. So this is the 20 gauge wire and what you want to do is bend it so it's not like perfectly centered but almost centered. So I'm just going to do a little bend. Let me move some of this other stuff out of the way. I just don't want it to be distracting. And so we want to make a heart. So we're just going to bend this and I don't want to make it super big either and I think I'm going to finish it at the bottom so we're just going to bend this and we're going to get our round form so I'm going to use the sharpie you could also use a marker or a ring cone okay so we're going to just bring this around and then we're going to bring the other side around just to free form a little bit of a heart this one is actually going to go on the end of a wand so it's going to be maybe a little bit small but if you had a larger piece of wire it would certainly work so what I realized when I started this one on YouTube is we want to start let me show you we're going to bring this around here and then just bend it out just at the bottom part of the wings so for that and you want to make sure they're more or less in the same position okay and we'll move that uh, I'll just move that over here and we'll go ahead and bend this sort of towards the bottom of the heart okay like that how much wire Heather um I always cut it too long and too short so I cut a couple of feet of wire and uh, yeah so say two feet of wire and um, you want to make sure you have enough to, to form the wings because uh, the wings are going to take quite a bit of wire so it's going to take a little bit of trial and error and because as usual I've never made this before we're just going to wing it so this is we've just bent them out like that at the bottom and then to form the wings this is the tricky part and this is something that I mentioned in the live stream is it's very hard to, for me to work really loosely because I'm trained as a graphic artist. I have a lot of experience drawing and doing very, you know, kind of perfect type shapes and stuff. And I, maybe it's just my personality too. It's just a little bit kind of controlling with the medium and stuff. But really uh, what you want to try to do is make it really loose. And because the first one I tried, I'm going to show you, the first one I started I kind of went back and forth with these, but I'm not convinced I like the look of that. It almost looks like a kind of a cartoony hand. So I'm going to try, like in Jen's picture, is to kind of go back upon itself so it becomes like a single line rather than kind of a double line there. So let's go ahead and try with the these here. Do you know if we can replay this later? You know what? I'll just leave it. Yeah, I'll leave this on the in the Facebook group so you guys can watch it later if you want. Um, and and uh, you can watch it anytime. It'll just be in the Facebook group. First time I've done a live in this group. So this is kind of fun. This is something different. Sometimes the universe has other plans for us. Say eh? when we, you know, try so hard to do something and then it doesn't work out. So you figure out another solution. So this is kind of fun though, because there's probably a lot of people in the group that aren't necessarily on YouTube. So see what I'm going to do is I'm just bringing these wires back and forth. So I'm just kind of trying to keep it as loose as possible and then using the flat pliers to bend it back. So it's got a nice crisp bend there. And you don't want all of these shapes to be the same because you want to give it a little bit of variety. So this is... And then we're going to bend this a little bit. So this is the idea. It's kind of already made a little bit of the wing shape. And then what you want to do, just bring that in a bit. And then the idea is you want to bend this one down like that. So, oh, you almost tried to pause the video. Yeah, the, you can't pause this because it's live. So, uh, but definitely it'll stay in the in the group. So if you guys want to watch this later, uh, absolutely. That's, that's great. I might even try to download this and put it on YouTube as well since 
there won't be a, a full live stream on YouTube tonight. So, so let's just go ahead. We're going to bring that, and then we're going to bend this with the pliers to bring it down. Oh, this is sweet. I got some hearts. Oh, guys, I've never had those on YouTube. That's fun. Thank you. I love it. Good for my ego. There we go. So then let's go ahead and do the other side. We want to make it sort of more or less the same, but it doesn't have to be exactly the same. So we're just going to bring that and start forming our hearts on this side. But sometimes when you use the pliers, it gets a little bit too kind of tight. So let's just try to do it as loosely as possible. Okay, so I forget, I'm hoping I'm not going to miss your comments on here. So there we go. And Jess, Jess gave me some emojis. I love that. Thanks so much, Jess. So let's go ahead and bend these. And feel free, guys, to introduce yourself in the comments. Let me know where you are, uh, what part of the world you are. I know I have a lot of people in the States, but there are people, you know, in other countries and stuff. Unfortunately, in, in Britain, it would be probably the middle of the night. Um, although I know a lot of people in England, uh, India, all over the place watch the videos. So, um, yeah, let me know where you are. I know Clarice is in New York. And, uh, yeah, some other people have told me where they're from, and I kind of lose track sometimes. Reminds me of the Aerosmith logo. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, maybe I should market them as being the Aerosmith logos. That's the, that's hilarious. It could be. I'm not super familiar with their uh, with their logos, or their, it could be on an album cover or something, I guess. That's pretty wild. So there we go. So now we've got our, our wings like this. And this is, I really, I can't wait to see what you guys make, because I really love how you guys interpret some of the projects that I do and often they turn out like more beautiful than what I've made because what I'm doing here is they're really just prototypes and so you guys can just go nuts doing whatever you want with these designs so so here's the idea here's we've got the we've got the wings we've got the heart and then you need to finish it at the bottom so we're going to finish it at the bottom and then what I want to do for that is just decide where you want the heart to finish okay and then we're just going to uh watching from PA is that Pennsylvania and Manhattan yeah love Manhattan we were in New York two weeks ago and Seattle Washington that is so cool I've never been to Seattle but I've been to Vancouver often and keep saying I want to go over to the states around that area so here's our heart with the wings I'm gonna just finish it off by twisting this end around okay I'm just gonna twist it around like three times and then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a clip okay and then I want to finish it off now the other thing you can do here you could leave it as is okay just like that but something that you can do to make it a little more fancy and it would actually hold everything together would be to add beads so what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to get some thinner wire just let me see what I have here this one is uh, this one's not too bad this I think is 22 gauge but you could also use a 24 gauge if you wanted so I'm just going to cut a piece again, cut it too, uh, too big if you need to. Uh, Nova, Kathy's in Nova Scotia, Canada. I've definitely been there. Barbara Hale, Michigan, and Colorado. Nice, Angelique. So Seattle is crowded. I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine it's a big city. Something like uh, Toronto is a really big city too, and Vancouver for that matter is pretty big. Montreal is a good size, it's not too big. So what I wanna do is start adding maybe some beads in there. So what I'm gonna do is take this wire, which is a 22 uh, gauge wire. I could probably have used, uh, like I said, a thinner one, like a 24 gauge, and start by attaching one of the wings on one side just to make it a little more solid. And I'm just looking to see if I do have some thinner wire. I don't think I do. I'm just going to go with this because I can't find my 24 gauge wire, but I would probably normally use the thinner wire. So what we're going to do is just use this thinner wire to twist the wings in place. Like it's, it's going to be like twofold because what you're going to do is not just twist the wings to get together like to the heart, but what it's going to do is you're going to be able to add some beads. So 
make sure that these are lined up. Here, I just have to check that it's having trouble seeing with the light. So there we go. So we're just gonna go like that. And then you could stick some beads in there if you want. So I'm just gonna look at my beads here, pull some out and we could do some different size. So here's like a little purpley one and you could use any size beads. What I wanna do is maybe do a mix of uh, six and four millimeters. So there we go. Uh, it's so amazing what you can be created with wire practice. Yes, practice, absolutely, yes. I've been making a wire for 30 years, so I definitely have a lot of practice, although I must say a lot of you guys in the group are really advanced with your wire weaving, and I'm super impressed, and I definitely want to try some wire weaving, uh, although I have, uh, I've never done it. So I was thinking maybe even to do a live stream where I troubleshoot doing some, some wire weaving, and it might be a bit of a joke because I don't, I have no experience doing it, so we'll see. So see what I've done is I've just added a wire with a bit, uh, with a bead, and then what I wanna do is just keep going with that. I have some other, let me just find my other, I have smaller beads too here. I have a whole bag of these little seed beads, so it might be good to add some seed beads to it. And like I said, you can just do like a little mix of uh, seed beads and the six millimeter beads. And basically what you're going to do is just keep wrapping until you use all your wire. And then what I can do is just add a couple of uh, maybe a couple of other colors. You can do two beads at once. You can do one bead. Uh, whatever you'd like to do, you can just uh, keep going with it. Peggy says, uh, I agree to her, Tyra, I only started two months ago and getting better every time. Yeah, well, that's it. It's just practice. It's have fun with it. And uh, I certainly have a ton of prototypes that I've made over the years that haven't really worked out so well. Uh, what, I, what I used to do at um, Halloween, when I used to give out Halloween stuff, like many years ago when my daughter was young, we actually used to give out jewelry. And so I would like have all my jewelry samples and stuff that that I'd made uh, over the years. And I would just give them out to the kids uh, for Halloween treats. And they loved it. They used to come to our house all the time. They just thought it was the coolest thing. So, so sometimes you could give away your things as uh, your prototypes as gifts and people really, uh, really appreciate it. Now this one's like falling down a bit. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna just twist this in a way that it's gonna just hold that end in place. Sometimes you have to improvise and just do what you need to do to get things to stick together. And that's a big part of the design process is sometimes you just kind of go another way with, with a project and that happens too. And certainly a lot often with my live streams that ends up happening. So all I'm doing now is just weaving the these back and forth and adding beads as I go. So we're just gonna keep doing that and just add a few more beads. And I probably normally would do a little more than this, but I think for just for the sake of time, I'll just kind of give you guys a little just a little uh, kind of feel for what it would look like and just keep twisting this around like that. So yeah, if you guys make some of these little angel hearts, I would love to see them because uh, everybody's got different ideas for you know how to add a little bit of bling to, to their work. And uh, it's you could probably do like little, you know, other kinds of fancy beads with it. You can even, uh, you know, use this to make earrings or pins or any anything really that you wanted to. Uh, Christmas decorations, it'd be cool. So let's just, we're gonna try to finish this one off a little bit. And then if you, you know, decide you don't want any more beads anymore, you could just go ahead and wind the wire. So see, I could just go back and forth and wind the wire. And then at some point you're gonna decide that it's finished and you can just finish it off. So I'm gonna go back into that wing again to hold it in place. Uh, actually, that one looks a little curved now. I wanna keep them as straight as possible, although you, you can make them kind of curved around as well. This one I'm making more like kind, kind of straight lines and stuff, but you can definitely um, 
make them a little more curved as well. So let's just cut that end off. Okay. And then this one too, it's kind of funky. I, I kind of like it. So we're just going to bring that one down into there. And at some point you're just going to finish it off. And then I'll show you what you would do if you put it on a wand. If you wanted to make it into a pendant, what you could do is just, instead of finishing it down here, you could finish it at the top if you wanted to do a pendant. So this is kind of how it's going to look for now. We can adjust these wings if you want it, like maybe they should be pushed up a little bit more. We could definitely wind them up so they're, they're kind of pushed up a little more. So that's our basic shape with the beads inside. And then if you wanted to put it on a wand, my suggestion would be, I have this, it's just a dowel. I know Jen makes beautiful wands that are very specialized. She actually sculpts the stick of the wand and they're, they're very, very nice. And so what I'm gonna do with this instead, this was another prototype for a live stream I did with a, a wand with a star. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just, I'll just take this off because I don't really I don't really need this right now. So I'm just gonna take this one off. Let me just take it off here. And you know, I don't I'm, I'm just gonna cut it like that. Because I'll reuse this. Often I'll take things apart and just reuse them. So I have this stick now that has the wires, and I could just leave these wires already wound around it. It gives it a little bit of a nice kind of look. So it's just a dowel that I painted gold and I wound it with wire. So the idea now would be to take this piece and stick it at the top. So if you wanted it to be like a, a heart wand. So all you would have to do is just take this and start the circle a little bit. Okay. And then just hold it onto here and then just wind it around. And we'll just make sure this is going the right way to follow our follow these a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna wind it around. So in this case, you would want to either make the the one wire really long, or just you know you could just attach it like that and then add more wire after if you need to. So that's kind of cool. It's just like this little heart kind of angel uh, angel heart things. So, and then there was one other thing I wanted to try on the live stream just because I love troubleshooting. So here are the first two things we've made. Well, this one we made in YouTube. So I'll def I definitely, I'll put a link to that YouTube video below. And then the other idea I had was to take heart uh, beads like that and think, see if we could make little wings on them, but I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not. So what, what I wanna do for that is actually get some wire. So let me just find some wire that's not too thick, not too thin. So, but you need want something quite flexible. So maybe I'll just try with this for now to see how it goes. Look, thanks Clarice. Clarice is the queen of emojis and gifts. I just love it. Love this. And every time we have new members, Clarice, you always find the funnest um, emojis to, to put as a comment. I love it. So now what are we going to do? So the idea would be to, if we want to do little wings on these, on these heart um, beads, I think I, what I would do is I just start by, if I put this through here, or maybe I should do like a little loop first. This is where we just troubleshoot because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. So Yvonne says, my youngest granddaughter is jumping around saying, I want a wand. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's so funny. Well, now you know how to make a wand. I've made many, many wands for kids. In fact, I've, um, I used to do a lot of kids workshops where uh, I would uh, bring the supplies and actually I would get the kids to put the beads on the wire and like make a star shape or a heart shape and then I would they would give it back to me and I would wind it, wind it on the wand so you she could actually make her own wand and all you would have to do is help her to attach it to the uh, the stick and stuff and those those dowels you can actually buy at um, 
at any hardware store really. So what am I doing? So I just made a little loop at the bottom and the idea behind the loop is I want to have something to be able to attach the wings to. So let's see if this is gonna work. If we stick this one like this, and then this wire up here will be what I hang the, um, hang the uh, earring hook on, sorry, losing my train of thought. So we're gonna bring this one, if we bring this wire down around the side of the of the heart bead and as in my other live streams I'm not guaranteeing this project is going to work but we're going to try it so this is this is where this is where the fun begins so if we want to if we just I've just brought it around the side of the heart and now I want to form some wings so let's just go ahead and do them gen style, nice and loose. Let's see what we can do. If I use these pliers a little bit, so if we bring that down and then we wanna bring it the same way we did the other thing, we're just gonna bend the wires back and then try to, I think I'm not even gonna use my pliers. Sometimes if you want it really loose, it's better not to use the pliers. So we've done like a couple of loops and then we're gonna bend this to the back, okay? And the same thing, we're just gonna do free form little loop there. I like them when they're a little bit crooked, so we're gonna see, and then back. And then just to be true to her design, we're just gonna bend it a fourth time. So we have these four, whoa, one got really big. That's okay, we can just fix that up a little bit just to tighten it up. And then the other one's a little too small. So if, if you need to fix it up, you can bring your pliers in and fix it up. Okay. So here we have one wing on one side. And as always, I might try to make a few of these after the live stream and see, uh, you know, see what I could do. And what I'm thinking is you could almost like twist this around together. How would that be too tight? Might be a little tight like that, but let's just try it. And then we could compare it to see what they look like. So if we just bend this around, okay, I'm just gonna bend this around and just give it a complete turn and see how that looks if we just, you know, make it kind of tight like that. It's, it's okay, it's not too bad. And then what we wanna do is actually, I find it a little bit low now, but what can we do for that? We can just bend it up a little bit, it's okay. So then what we're gonna do is actually bend this around the bottom, and so what this little loop at the bottom has done is just a little stabilizer to hold that in shape in place so now we're going to bend that around the little loop at the bottom and then we want to do the same thing we're going to come up here Ooh, this is really cute i like these already and then what we're going to do is bend this again and then form our our little um, our little wings again so we're going to free form it just go around like that okay we bit, bit, did one bend and then we're going to bend this to the back okay and then if we need to use our pliers, we can to get it started, to get it in the right place. Okay, and then bend this one here. We'll maybe make that loop a little bigger to try to somewhat match from one side to another. Okay, and then we're gonna bring this one back. Okay, and then the other one, this one is a little shorter than that one, so we're gonna bring that one in here. Okay, and then there's gonna be one more, one more loop to do. If it gets a little crooked, just get your pliers in there. Better to use a soft wire with this, like the artistic copper wire is a good wire for this because it's nice and soft. Um, I usually do a lot of my work with aluminum wire, but for these type of freeform designs, the aluminum's not so good because it's it, it kind of makes these little like creases and stuff. But this isn't too bad so we've got these two sides and then I'm gonna do the same thing what I did on that side is just do a full turn around just to hold it in place otherwise it's gonna start coming apart so this one seems like now it's a little high this one was a little low and this one's a little high but that can happen so it's okay so now we're going to just bring this one around okay and you want to finish it at the top so we're gonna bring it around to the top Make sure it's nicely positioned and then just bend this around the top, okay? 
Now, if you wanted to, you could even add another bead at the top. It might be cute. We can we can check. Sometimes we see, I like to check and see how it's going to look, and if I don't like it, I remove it. So we have our, okay, our little heart with the wings here. So let me just see if I, I don't know if I have a turquoise bead for the head. I do, actually. Well, it wouldn't be a head as such, but it would be kind of a, it would be kind of a, just a little accent. Mm, I'm not sure I'm loving that. No, 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 don't want that. So let's take that off and let's just go ahead and bend that. And then we're gonna make a loop. And this could be just like a really cute, simple kind of earring that looks like the heart with wings. So there we go, let's just finish that off. And cut that off there. So there we have our little, and this is great because I wanted to try something that was with a bead. So that kind of works out really good. Let me move all my junk. So here, let's see what we did today. So we did, here's Jen's uh, picture of the heart with the wings that I love. And then what we made was we made this little, uh, I'll bring it closer to the screen. So we made this little heart with a bead with the wings so that's super cute and where do we put the other stuff let me just move my junk so here's the one that's the Fimo or the modeling clay with the wings and that's really cool and there here is the wand with the heart so you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put these on the table I'm gonna bring the camera down, so just careful not to get seasick while I bring my camera down a little closer to see these. Okay, so there we go. So these are a little bit closer. Okay, so we have, so let me know which one you guys like the best. So we have the wand with the heart and the beads, and then we have the Fimo heart with the wire wings. Uh, that one I did on YouTube before my technology died. And then we have the little heart bead with wings that could be an earring or a pendant. So you guys can let me know which one you like the best. I'm going to flip my screen around so I can say goodbye. Let me just flip the screen. Oh, are we good? Yeah, we're good. There. <laughs> Perfect. So sorry it's really shadowy here because I've got this bright light going and... I'm trying to um, trying to see the comments as well. So let me just look. Actually, I can see comments on this. I'm going to bring you in the other room because I can see comments on the iPod. So that's good. So there we go. So I'm going to come into here. Ah, perfect. This is my kitchen. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for hopping on the live stream. Uh, we'll try again on YouTube next week. Uh, usually YouTube works okay, but it doesn't. We had a little problem with technology. It froze halfway through. So what I'm going to do is going to download that video and re-upload it. This one is going to stay in the Facebook group. So if you guys want to re-watch and if you make any of these hearts, please share pictures in the group. That would be awesome. And I always love seeing what you guys uh, make. It's amazing. Uh, Sophia is saying the wand. Well, if you guys make the wand, uh, Yvonne, just please uh, post pictures and that would be wonderful. And uh, I'm going to look back and see if I have some pictures from when I was doing crafts and, and jewelry with kids. And I'll post them in the group because there's a lot of really cool projects you can make with kids. It's so much fun. And thank you for all the hearts. This is really special, uh, getting hearts on the live stream. It's so cool. And we'll see you guys uh, next week, uh, hopefully on YouTube. And we'll see you uh, uh, every day in the Facebook group. So thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.